Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 25 in chapter 5. In this one, you can see we know the object just uh, sit on a slope and it moves up, right? With an initial velocity v naught and then just a stop. And ask you to determine the coefficient for kinetic friction and the coefficient for static friction. So first of all, we look at the motion for this box. We know its initial velocity, negative v naught because it moves up. And then when the final velocity is zero, displacement is negative d. And then we, we need to find the acceleration. Super easy. Use our favorite equations in chapter three. Do you agree? Yes. And then we need to use acceleration as a bridge to find this coefficient for kinetic fraction. So first of all, we can see do the force analysis, we have the gravity, normal force, and the friction. So we project the gravity in two components, S component and Y component. So we have mg cosine it and mg sine it. In this one, you can see, we can solve it, right, by using the Newton's second law. So first one, we have m minus the mg cosine it equals zero. And then look at S component, we have the friction plus mg sine it equals mass times acceleration. And then this fraction is just the coefficient for the kinetic fraction times the normal force. In these three equations, we can get this acceleration in this equation. And see, we can use the acceleration as a bridge. Solve, it, solve the mu k. It's easy, right? The second one asks you about the static fraction coefficient. In this one, if we consider static fraction, that means the acceleration is just a zero because the object is stationary. And also, we can see if we do the static friction, if we put the box on it, it has a tendency to move down. Do you agree? But it's not moved down because the static friction balanced it. So in the next one, the friction for the static friction must up to keep the object balanced, stationary on this object, right? So still, we have a look. Look at the y component, and we have m minus mg cosine equals zero. And then the x component, we have mg sine minus the fraction for static fraction, right, equals zero. Because we need to keep the force balanced on the x component. So the fraction must be up to balance the gravity, mg sine. And then this fraction is smaller than the coefficient mu s times the normal force. And then we solve this equation. We can find the mu s must be larger than tangent theta. And then in this one, we can see the first one, you do the force analysis, you can find this acceleration for kinetic fraction. And then use this acceleration as a bridge, you can find the mu k. This acceleration can also be found in the motion of this uh, object, right? You know, initial velocity, final velocity, and displacement. The next one, we need to Remember, the magnitude of the friction force is less than mu s f n. And then this fraction is just up because the acceleration is zero. And then we need to keep the force balanced. And then we find mu s is larger than tangent theta. Thank you.